Hey Scorpios and welcome back for another general love reading. We're going to tap into your person's energy Scorpio and see how do they feel about you. Let's see how the person really feels about you currently, the person that is in love with you. Oh my goodness Scorpio, I'm talking about this is crazy but I know it's real because it keeps on showing up. If you think somebody ain't thinking about you, something wrong with you. That's all I'm going to say because you are, I mean, the way they see you. But the thing about this person, for some of y'all, this person has all these feelings for you, but they got somebody in their energy that's not real. They could be dealing with a false person that's hanging in there with them for money because they're wealthy. Because you got theft, false person, and wealth. Warning. I feel like your person is trying to, for some of you guys, you may have been dealing with somebody, your person could be in the military or very structured, stern type of energy with this military person, disciplined. For some of you guys, this person has been staying away from you because they dealing with this false person in their life that they need to get away from. But this is how they feel about you. Whether they tell you or not, this is just what it is. They're sad. It says sad news, disappointment, loss, sadness, weakness. Feel like somebody's in a bad place. They're missing you. This person here feels like you're their dream come true. They feel like you're, it says great fortune. There, you're, you guys met each other for a reason. You, you're this. You're supposed to be. A, this is like they feel like you're supposed to stay connected. They feel like there's a purpose in you guys meeting each other. It says great fortune, well-being, fulfillment, dreams coming true. Then you have bedroom. <laughs> it says secret confidentiality, trust, private space. And then you have home. Home, family roots, identity, and stability. This is what they feel about you. See? Somebody feels like you're home. They do. <laughs> Ooh, but like I said, it could be somebody else in their energy that's trying to take advantage of them. But they looking at you like, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here that needs to cut ties somewhere else or they're doing that. If they have not got all the way involved with you, the only reason it could be is because they need to tie up some loose ends somewhere else. But it's not because they're not in love. This is somebody here who feels bad that y'all not together. They're having dreams about you. I feel like somebody sees a life with you. Could be somebody want to move in together. They see a life with under the same roof. Moving in together is what I'm getting because you got bedroom at home. Y'all probably spent a lot of time together. So if somebody was not acting right, it's because they had somebody else in a way that they needed to address and deal with and get out the way. And you know, most of the time that ain't easy. People make it hard. So let's pull you some cards. Let me get, make some room. I'm just surprised that this stuff is steady coming out. So I know that that's how somebody feel about somebody, some Scorpio. And then y'all got that Katesh energy, that fertility energy. <laughs> the Empress keep on showing up. Somebody's really, really fiery and passionate about you. And they are sad since you guys are not together. Probably had to walk away because maybe they were too stern in that military energy. Maybe they wasn't letting you know how they felt. The heck is that? Is that music? Ooh. I don't think we got no rain in the forecast. So let's see. That 
it don't belong in there. All right, Spirit, show me the energy of the person that's in love with Scorpio. How do they currently feel? What are their hidden feelings towards Scorpios? What actions will they take towards Scorpios if they are in separation? And what if they're what what are the blockages that's keeping this person away from Scorpios? What are the interferences? How do they really feel about you, huh, Scorpios? That's a question. Sound like it's thundering. This is how they feel. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. Page of Wands. Page of Swords. You know they sad. Three of Swords. Maybe you're not talking. The high priestess. Judgment. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Oof. Underneath the bottom is the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. I think it's gonna rain, y'all. Oh my God, I hope not. It's just coming out of nowhere if it is. So let me hurry up, cause it seems like it may rain. You got the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You got the Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Judgment, Taurus. Why is this three of swords here? Now let's do the reverse. There's two of pentacles and a seven of swords in the reverse. Someone here could have been thinking that they're getting away with something, but I feel like somebody don't want to lie no more. They don't want to cheat. They don't want to do none of that. Because you do got the three of you got the three of cups and the three of swords. So for some of you guys, it was somebody on their end that was interrupting or interfering. That kept them from really being with you. Now they may have been in love with you. But they hid it because they had another situation. All right, why is the Seven of Swords in the reverse for the person in love with Scorpio? What is this about? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Ooh, spirit, if it's rain, just hold it off for about 15 more minutes, spirit. Then I just let, <laughs> then you can have, I'm talking about the sun is shining and everything. This doesn't seem like they, look, they came out of nowhere. If it's raining, they're just coming out of nowhere. I mean, somebody must have said abracadabra. Somebody must have been out there doing the rain dance for their crops or something. Seven of Swords in the reverse. What's this about for the person in love with Scorpio? Spirit, what is this about? Eight of Swords in reverse, freeing themselves from another situation that got them being deceptive and getting away with something. See, they go to devil. I feel like somebody's disconnecting from a toxic situation. Maybe it was they self. Could be a Capricorn. See? Queen of Cups. Somebody like they're trying to make some changes, Scorpios, in order to be with you. See, told you. Six of Cups. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe they were juggling you in another situation, but they didn't dropped it. <laughs> Oh, they done dropped it, honey. It's dropped. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. 
the world see closing up a chapter starting something new see they got the eye on you they looking back at it they looking back at scorpio with all their passion see but they probably feel like you still mad because you got the three of swords again something it didn't happen like they wanted it to happen nobody won why is the three of swords here for the person in love with scorpios libra gemini and aquarius disappointments heartbreak influences outside influences too many people sadness heartache see death i bet so like i say you remember the first card started off with sad news it says disappointment loss sadness weakness this person weak they weak since you left them alone i feel like because they wasn't given could have been a one-sided situation here once again. See, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. They didn't make the good judgments about this relationship and they ended it. Or, like I said, I feel like somebody else may have been involved. What's up with this Three of Swords for the person in love with Scorpio? So you're now with this person temperance, divine time and patience, waiting, wanting to reconcile. Because you got the Six of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here, though? Is this somebody else involved? Why is the Three of Cups here for the person in love with Scorpio? What's up with the Three of Cups? Maybe this is what they want with you to reconcile. Could be a Leo. They miss, you know, they miss you. You got Betsy. There's a meeting in my bedroom, bedroom. Who sing this? Silk. Y'all remember that? Look, don't come for me when you got bedroom and house. There's a meeting in my. You already know. You already know, Scorpio. See, there it is again, see? <laughs> Somebody feels like being around you is just so amazing. When they're not around you, see, see, see what they see what happens? This is what they get though, see? They want that three of cups. They don't want to play no games no more. They want that Three of Cups to the Two of Cups to the Sun card. What's up with this Two of Cups and this soulmate of Scorpios that's in love with Scorpios? Could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Leo, Capricorn, see? There it is. If you think this per if you think this person ain't happy with you, they are. Once again, this person may have had to leave somebody else out in the cold in order to come back and get you because it's almost like somebody, they can't, they can't handle both of y'all. You probably want it all. You, now, you know how you do, Scorpio. You probably want all of them. And they probably don't really have nothing else for nobody else because you got the two of pentacles in the reverse. They couldn't keep up. This is somebody saying, God dang, Scorpio want all of my time and I love every bit of it, but I got this situation over here. I can't. How am I going to do this and do that? And I feel like somebody feels like you're the right one for them. See, they may have had to leave somebody out in the cold. Seven of Cups that was bringing in a lot of confusion. This could have been the false energy that they were dealing with. That was all about money. See, some obligations that they were with. Somebody could have been with your person for money while you was with them for love, but they didn't want to do you right. You see how that works? Now that they done lost you and they stuck with the other person, they don't want that other person now. See, all I got to do is walk away and let them decide. And if they come back, usually they'll come back with some changing. They don't come back with no changes. They don't get to get back in your life. They go that king of wands again, taking control, pursuing passionately, pursuing you because you got 
See, it could be a Libra making things right. You know they're going to make it right because you got the three of swords here. See, and they go to chariot. For some of y'all, you're dealing with a Libra or a Cancer. Ace of Cups for the person in love with Scorpio. Now, why is the page of swords here? What are they checking out? What are they watching? They're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. Somebody watching. Could be an Aquarius. Because you're this person's wish come true. See, they go to two of pentacles in the reverse. See? Like I said, somebody know in order to get you, they're going to have to let go of something else. Walk away from it or something. Or do right by you one. Why is this page of swords here with the star? Hope, inspiration, dreams coming true, wishes coming true. Make a wish. You're this person's wish fulfilled because you see the nine of cups, seven of pentacles. Taking stock, waiting. I feel like this person know that they had you waiting, Scorpios, because they may have had something else that was occupying their time. So this is them observing, taking, taking stock, see? The hangman. That's why you got the sun card, because they're, they've been enlightened. Somebody needed to change their focus because they were seeing things wrong. They may have been seeing you wrong because they had somebody else in their ear. You know how that is. Sometimes you have all these options and it ain't going to do nothing for you but make you confused. See? Ten of swords, see? Feel like somebody wants to heal something because they know that they caused a lot of damage. Why is judgment here for the person in love with Scorpios? Y'all remember those lightning bugs? When we was kids, we used to catch those lightning bugs and put them in jars so that they light up. Ah, <sighs> man. Do they even still have lightning bugs? <laughs> the fuck was that? It just jumped out here. Is that Chicago? Oh, that's a lightning bug right there. <laughs> Where did it come from? Oh my goodness. Ace of Cups coming toward, what's going on with the person in love with Scorpio? They want to start over. They miss that love overflowing. See there, they go to Hermit card. Soul searching, introspecting, trying to figure out how can they start over with you? How can they get another chance? Could be a Virgo, see, where it's victorious and successful. They want to successfully start over with you. See, because they miss you and they got a lot of passion for you and their focus is on you. They ain't thinking about nobody else. They too busy thinking about you. All right, judgment. What's up with judgment for the person in love with Scorpios? I know I'm being ate up by mosquitoes even though I got my little stuff burning. Probably ain't enough. Why is judgment here for the person in love with Scorpio? What is this about? Please don't walk away from my love. Too late, Scorpio gone. Judgment, see? Five of cups, see? There it is again. Sad news, there it is. That's what they feel because they did it like that. It just amazes me how people try to, it's almost like, it seems like when the person that falls in love or falls the hardest, they feel like you're weak. But I thought that was the name of the game. It's almost like you, bit, it's like the first one who fall in love loses. Ain't that something? Judgment in the five of cups, but that's why they receiving karma now. See? Somebody feels like their whole world is falling apart. That's what it is, because they're missing you. And then the only one they got surrounding them is somebody here who is a false person, who is around them for what they can do for them. But you were just giving what was free. You was giving love. What's up with this judgment? 
See, I didn't I tell you that's their karma, see? I feel like the reason why it's their karma is because they've been dealing with that other situation for a long time. See that? They done dropped it. They done lost control. Somebody has lost control over their life, their love life. The one who they're fiending for, who they desire, who they yearn for, who they're really in love with, they've created very big distance between the two of you. Like I say, meanwhile, because of their choices, they're with this person here. So they got somebody stealing from them. You got false person and theft. See, I feel like your person is this, this shrewd person here, very serious. Somebody could be with your person for money. That's who they got to get out their energy. One more card for judgment. But that's their judgment because it's two of pentacles in the reverse, see? Like what I feel like is happening is what's happening is that the one that they cho chose or the one they hadn't made up their mind. Because I feel like if this is somebody you're dealing with and you knew that they had a third party, they wasn't happy anyway. But this person never made up their mind to dis to totally disconnect from it, I feel. So now when you enter into their life, they should have made their choice then, but instead they played games as if they had the best. Somebody played games with you like the other person that was doing them wrong was the best bet, but they wasn't. I feel like Spirit's been dealing with this person a long time for about their life. Now here you come, it could have been beautiful, but they messed it up. So now they're dealing with the karma because they're not happy, they're sad, they're longing for you, they're missing you. They want to start over with you. But somebody feels like they didn't hit rock bottom. Page of Wands for the person in love with Scorpio. What's up with this Page of Wands? See? Page of Wands, Hierophant, mm. some type of good news coming in, really wasn't being too serious, it could have been somebody here who was innocent, it could be, it could be that this is growing on them, for some of you guys, the longer you're not around this person, the more the, the thought of really having a real commitment with you is actually growing on them, they're, think, they're seeing it differently now. Because everything that they desire, they don't have it. So they're settling. They done lost the best. See? The magician, you, 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 like I say, this is you everything that this person wanted. That's why there's a lot of sadness, see? Ace of Swords. And for some of y'all, it's a Libra. And for others, this person's receiving karma. They're going to get it back. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like for some of y'all, even if you want this person back, it's still not going to be easy for them to get you back because you're not going to trust them. So like I say, they had it all. Y'all probably was loving this person and doing everything to them not getting nothing. So ain't no rushing back in. No, you got to earn it if Scorpio still even wants that. So now you got the high priestess, the last card for the person in love with Scorpio it could be a Pisces, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Leo. Got a lot going on. So like I said, I told you, their person hit rock bottom because they got all kind of arcanas in here, majors. The high priestess, and now they may be tapped in spiritually. See, the high priestess, the Four Swords, they've had a long time to think and look at things now. See there? The Four Wands, and they're not over you. They go to Eight of Cups in the reverse. See, I guess that's just a valuable lesson to us all. Be mindful of how you treat people. You don't get to hold on to one and dog this one. No, let me go. What you holding on to me for? Don't they say the good guy always comes in last? I feel like that's what happened. Three of Cups. They go that Three of Cups again, once again. Somebody is bored. They're lonely. They're not happy. 
And eat, see, and the reason why is because they are in love. There they go. See? For some of y'all, y'all person trying to get their stuff together, Scorpio, so that they can come back and try to win you back. But I'm telling you, this person ain't doing so good. It seemed like they didn't hit rock bottom since you left. And now they realize you was the best part of their life, Scorpios. Now they feel empty, lost, and in a dark place. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this is the person in love with you. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't come for me, X-Cross, watching. Y'all shouldn't have did what you did. I'm just saying. <laughs>